Yeah, yeah, more severe weather across portions of the south again, not typically what we would see as we head into late June, but we're following that other big story uh, here this morning. Storms produce multiple tornadoes in Mississippi, leaving at least one person dead and dozens injured. This is what the the aftermath of that what it looked like in parts of the eastern part of the state. Officials say about 30 homes were damaged or destroyed in Jasper County. So as we look at those uh, storm reports there from yesterday, you can see that cluster of storms at least a half a dozen uh, in Mississippi uh, yesterday. Day. A lot of those around uh, Jackson there coming down toward Macomb, Mississippi and dotting uh, areas along the uh, Gulf Coast around Mobile over toward Panama City all the way down along the uh, coast of Florida there. Cape Coral, we had a uh, report of a tornado there yesterday as well. So these are the storm reports as it stands now and dozens of reports of a hail and wind in these uh, same areas too. Now this same area will be kind of under the gun just a little bit later today. We do have that level two, that slight risk for some severe storms over uh, portions of uh, Mississippi along the Gulf Coast down toward New New Orleans there getting out over toward the Florida Panhandle. We have that low end marginal risk for another round of strong, potentially severe storms there. And looking at the time cast, it will be a scattered in nature. But as we head later into this afternoon down around uh, New Orleans there, they will see some scattered showers and storms on out into the Gulf of Mexico around the coast of Florida as well. We'll see a few more storms as we get into this afternoon. So that's what they're going to be dealing with there and even some storms across portions of North Texas over the next couple of days. Those will be few and far between the heat. Still the big story here. So